Hey guys, it's Ben from Ben Stinson Films, and today I am doing a 2018 PC build. This price range of this computer comes in around $1,400 to $1,600, depending on sales, anything of that sort. Disclaimer, as of right now, February 2018, graphics cards are inflated in price due to crypto mining. You will see 1080s for over $1,000. Do not buy these graphics cards. Wait till they are back down to the original price. In this video, I am going off their MSRP or original pricing. The prices are most likely to go down in the next couple of months or so. So let's get started. I did a thousand dollar build a couple of months ago, and this is almost the same build but with upgraded parts. Everything I show you today will be in a link in the description below. To get started, we have the Gigabyte Z270MX Gaming 5 motherboard. It's a micro ATX RGB board with an Intel Z270 chipset supporting up to 64GB of RAM. It has three PCIe slots, though you can't fit three 1080s in it, not that you need to. Since there are now 8th gen CPUs out there, this can be changed with the Z370 motherboard, if you can spend a couple of extra dollars on a motherboard and CPU that is. I paired this board with an Intel Core i5-7600K clocked at 3.8GHz with a max turbo of 4.2GHz. This is a quad-core CPU that takes up 91 watts of power. It's built with an Intel HD Graphics 630 integrated graphics card. This is also interchangeable to the 8th generation i5-8600K, which is about 5-10% to faster, but this is not needed for this budget computer. I put a Cooler Master Hyper 212 CPU fan cooler on it, but this is also very opinionated and look based. Just get a good reviewed cooler that cools your CPU well. For the RAM, I got 16GB of Corsair Vengeance RGB DDDR4 3200MHz RAM. It doesn't need to be RGB obviously, just a nice touch. This can be changed based on cheapness or preference on what you like. To the power supply, it doesn't really matter. Preferably, at least 500 watts and a gold certification. For the sake of this build, I use an EVGA Supernova 650 watt gold certified power supply. For the storage, I put in a 500GB Samsung A50 EVO series solid state drive. I pair this with the Western Digital 1TB 7200RPM hard drive. Again, do whatever you like to this build and add as much storage or whatever kind of hard drive you would like, preferably a SSD just for faster but it is not needed. Now for the main show in this build is a GTX 1080 G1 gaming GPU by Gigabyte. It has 8GB of GDDR5 VRAM with 3 fans. This is clocked at 1.72GHz, boost clock to 1.86GHz. Prices are fluctuating right now like I said before, but they should come back down to the mid $500 range soon. Don't know when, but they will be coming down soon, don't worry. Piecing this all together is the Cooler Master Masterbox Lite 5 RGB mid-tower case. This is what I'm using now, but this is an extremely interchangeable part to the computer because it's to your preference. Any case is fine, some just have better looks, and some do have better airflow. But any case works, cheapness, or expensive, or anything like that, so just buy whatever case you would like. Now on to some gameplay. This is Rainbow Six Siege, not that much of a demanding title, just a game that I like to play a lot. I sit around 60 FPS when I have V-Sync on, but without V-Sync I usually sit around 90 to over 100. It rarely dips on occasion, except for those like weird uh, things that happen in games, but this is just that one. For this one it's PUBG. It's uh, not very optimized, obviously you hear that everywhere, but uh, on V-Sync, I stay around 60. In non-V-Sync, I go over 100 on old ultra settings. Um, it does have those weird dips because it's PUBG and it just messes up sometimes, but uh, not too much, and it's just a fun game to play. Here you go. Now, this title isn't that uh, new, but it's still a very demanding title. Uh, GTA 5, all ultra settings, MSAA times 2. Um, I usually sit around without VSync on around 70 to 90 FPS at 1440p, over 100 FPS at 1080p. Um, I'm playing 1440p here, and that's all I do here. Have fun watching this for a second. That brings us to the end of the video. All the art in this video goes to my friend. You can visit her blog in the link in the description below, or you can click the link in the video right now. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comment about the computer, just comment below. If not, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good day.